Hey guys, I have great news. Google has released a security tool, best of all, open source. It is going by the name Tsunami. Apparently, Google gains reconnaissance as well as vulnerability verification around all their different servers or external facing ones, and they do so via using GKE. That's this guy right here. And so you, you can try this for free. You know, they, they've got this published up on GitHub. So down here are the links to the main scanning engine and then some scanning plugins. So we are going to be looking for turn windows features on or off, and we are going to find Hyper-V. From there, we are going to check the box, go ahead and okay through everything, next through it all and whatever, and you will probably have to restart your machine. Don't worry, that's fine. You know, just save whatever and reboot and you will be back up and running with Hyper-V ready to go. So now we're just gonna search for Quick Create. We should see Hyper-V Quick Create Keen, the LTS version, TSU, right? Create the virtual machine. It's gonna download it. It's about 1.60 gigs. Okay, so it looks like we are really close to being ready. We're gonna connect into the virtual machine. And so from here, just go ahead and click Start. Go ahead and just click in there, continue on. Select your English, continue, continue. So it's going to ask us for, for the screen. Just leave it how it is if you want. Next. Next. Done. It's terminal, definitely. I am definitely slightly awake. And map and uncrack. So let's start off by doing that. Pseudo sue. Now apt install. And map. So it looks like what you got to do is this. And after we update, supposedly, then maybe we should be able to get uncrack. We are about to find out. So I think that should do apt install docker.io so we are now all set to copy and paste that in so apt install curl we need all the dependencies <laughs> all right so now that we have curl let's try again get all compiled we're executing a bunch of awesome stuff so it's going now we just really wait Okay, so here we can see we have we have Jupiter running. It, it would appear on port eight 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 eight. If we go back into our terminal after that stuff finished, you know, just curling this, then it generates this beautiful mess right here. So copy that and then paste that. So we should notice something. You can see it likes to use the, the TMP directory. So let's just go ahead and CD into TMP. And I'm just gonna list some files in here. And I guess furthermore, I'm just gonna go ahead and grep out anything that ends like that, right? So we can see a couple of things. Uh, there, I thought would have also been like an nmap report. Okay, yeah, so we've got an nmap report file. So if I do that, we can see that. Also though, we should see this output here. And that's gonna show us, you know, as we page down and or actually just to, to make our screen uh, be able to, to see more, we can quickly see different information here, but here's a, a critical, uh, Jupyter Notebook exposed, user interface. So the Jupyter Notebook is not password or token protected. And so we, we can see like someone could just come in here and upload a, a file or whatever. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's definitely a good warning for us. And if you wanted to, you could come in here, just literally slash TMP, that's it. And you'll notice that there's your, uh, your JSON um, yeah, so that gives you, that gives you that kind of neat. And hopefully this has been at all helpful to anybody in case anyone wanted to, ch I guess, check this out, get it running. Thank you.